Hey everybody, it's Jen with Two Sister Bees. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's weekly cash stuffing video. Today we are going to start with unstuffing all of the Christmas money that I have spent since my last cash stuffing. Everything was purchased with a debit card, so I'm gonna be taking the cash out and that money will be reallocated to all of my regular cash stuffing binders. I'm gonna get caught back up on my no spend days. I skipped this last week. So I'm ready to get everything reorganized. Let's get into it. Okay, so I have a lot going on with the Christmas spending because Jason and I decided yesterday to get it all done. And we did, except for our moms. Those are the only two that we have not gotten anything for. We actually went to Sam's early this morning and finished up what we couldn't get online. So let's take all of that out first, because as I said, this money is what's going to be used to do my cash stuffing for this week. So in the back of the binder, this is everything that we purchased and the amounts that they were, and it ended up being $1,784 total. And I know that sounds like a lot, but that was for all of our kids, their significant others, and our granddaughter, and all of our nieces and nephews. So we feel like we did pretty good. And the most important part, we did stay under budget. So let's see what we've got. Okay, so I put the ones up there so they're out of my way and we need $1,784. So let's start counting it out. One, two, three, four, five. 100, 200, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a thousand. So we still need 284, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, so there's 160, and we need 24, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So what I have left is $421. So let me put this over to the side and let's figure out what denominations I need to cash stuff with. And then we'll come back to this. Okay. So here is my cash planning sheet. This has all of the categories that are in my binders and I have checked off each denomination that I need. So let's go ahead and add these up at the bottom. Okay, so I need this many of each of these. So let's go ahead and get that. And whatever I don't have available in this stack, which is the Christmas money, I'm gonna take from my savings challenge money from this past Sunday. I did not do my savings challenge video this past Sunday because Jason is home. So I took a break this past week. So that money is still sitting here waiting to go into the savings challenges. So 50s, I need six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need four 20s, one, two, three, four. I need two 10s, two ones, and I don't know why I wrote a five here. I just need one five. So that's gonna have to come out of the savings challenge money, one five. So we're gonna put this to the side and let's start stuffing some binders. And I'm gonna go in order from the planning sheet. I'm gonna put this to the side. And some of these binders also owe some money back to me. So let's see what we have this week. I'm gonna be completely reorganized once this video is done and I'm happy about that. So husband always gets his 50. And let's see what he's up to. For his vacation money, he now has 100, 200, 300, 
450. And Jolene, she gets her 25. And she is up to 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Perfect. So she's got her payment ready to go. So when that comes out of my checking account, I will take that back and rebuild it up. Uhtred. Okay, this is where some stuff starts to go on. Let's see what he owes me. He has in his envelope the Sam's Club receipt because when we went today, we went there early this morning, we bought some of the things that he needs in order to make his food. So I'm going to add that up. Okay, and that comes to $63.45 that Uhtred owes from his envelope. And I'm going to put this back in the grocery envelope because we're going to need it when we get back here. Okay, so let's do Uhtred math. He owes $63.45 for the food. And I also bought him a box of his favorite milk bones. That was another $17.98. We'll just say $18. So he owes $81.45, but I was going to give him $50 today. So we'll subtract the $50 that I was going to put in. Okay, so Uhtred owes me $31.45. Let's see what he's got in here. So we've got $20. 31. And we're going to take this $31 back. Let's put that to the side so he is all figured out. Bougie. I am going to put 50 in here. It is completely empty. So now I've got 50 in there. Okay, groceries. Let's see what we did in the grocery budget. Groceries has 260 here in the envelope. At Sam's today, after subtracting a Christmas present, Jason's champagne, and Uhtred's food, what was actually spent on groceries was $233.55. So let's do the math again. We have 260 in the envelope. We spent 233.55, so that leaves $26.45 in the envelope. Okay, so I'm going to take out everything but $27 and I'm going to need some change. Okay, so from the Christmas money, I'm going to leave this $10 and take this 10 back. And then I'm going to put five tens and take a 50. So now I can leave the $27 And the rest of this comes back to me. Plus, I'm gonna go ahead and put the 150 for this week that I have budgeted. So let's see what groceries has now. Groceries has 150, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77. 177, working out pretty good. I have not been in the negative for quite some time on groceries. Wine, I'm gonna go ahead and put a 20 in here. This will be the first time that I'm actually stuffing this envelope. And I need to. <laughs> and the takeout envelope. Let's see. I spent $25.49. I was going to put $30 in here this week. So I'm just going to call that a wash. And let's see what we have in here now. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, and 3. Okay, so we're all done with the palm tree binder. Okay, next on the cash planning sheet is the green binder. And the tag, I just paid this for December. I'm going to wait until January to start stuffing this again. So I'm going to take a break from that for a couple weeks. And that leads us to car insurance. It's 22. 21. 22. 23. 24. 25. And we now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 874. The goal is pretty much $1,200 by May of next year. Vehicle maintenance. I don't think anything, nope, has been going on. We're going to add $100 today. And it now has one, two, three, four, five, six hundred. 
I think I'm going to get some new windshield wipers for the car. And the tire light has been on. The tires are not flat, so I don't really know what that's about, but I'm gonna have them check those as well. Getaways gets 50, $50. We cannot wait to go on our trip and spend our getaway money. 100, 200, 300, 400 dollars. And the last one in this envelope is medical. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually forgot to write this on the sheet, but I'm not skipping medical. I'm gonna go ahead and take from over there and put $100 in here. This is a very important envelope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I have cleared this one out quite a few times this past year. So this one is a lifesaver, not skipping that one. Okay, let's see how I did with my no spend days. I actually have not checked in for quite a while. And if you're new and you're wondering how I do my no spend days, what I would consider a spend day are days that I buy something that I have not budgeted for, impulse buys, or non-necessities. So I use the red marker to mark off the days that I spent. And those are going to be the 17th, 18th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd, and the 24th. Now, I didn't spend all these days. This was not all me. Some of it was Jason, but I do count his most of the time as well. So let's go ahead and mark off my no spend days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and today is twelve. Okay, so twelve days at five dollars is sixty. Normally, I take from my savings challenge money, but today I'm going to take it from over here. And now that we're adding sixty, let's see what my no spend envelope has now. And since I've got some extra cash over here to the side, I'm going to cash some of this out for bigger bills. One, two, three. We'll leave those. 20, 40, 60, 81. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. Perfect. I did not, not plan that out, but that worked out perfectly. So we're going to take this over and put it back there. And my no spend days is up to one, two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars. Okay, so now I am all caught up and I cannot wait to start the new tracker for the new year. And if you want to challenge yourself to a no spend challenge for 2024, I do have quite a few of them in the Etsy shop. This is just one of them. I think there are eight different themes available or you can just look below in the description and this is a freebie you can print this out and do it monthly and see how you do on the no spend challenge okay so let's get back to this white binder no spend day is done emergent b gets 50 every week i'm going to move that out of the way so we will color five of the honeycombs they're worth ten dollars a piece Okay, this tracker is looking pretty good. Let's see how much we've got in here. Okay, Emergent B has one, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty, six seventy, six ninety, ninety five, seven hundred. Seven hundred bucks for Emergent B. That is exciting. And I actually do already have my one thousand dollar emergency fund. However, I'm gonna keep doing this and keep building it up with my Emergent B trackers. Okay, date night. I noticed when I was looking through these that I have eight symbols left. And at $5 a piece, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put 20 for four of them. And then next week, I'll do the other 20. And this will be even more for us to take on our trip to Palm Springs next month. So let me color in four of these. Fifty, seventy, ninety, one hundred and ten. So I'll have one thirty total. 
when it's all done. And you're probably wondering where this last $10 goes because I sure was. I had to look at my cash planning sheet. This is going to the birthday binder. And we are working on our February birthday. Each one of the symbols is $10. So we're gonna add the 10. We're gonna color in one of the symbols. And she now has 20, 40, 60, 70, $80 just about halfway. And then once this one is done, we'll move on to our March babies. Okay, so one more envelope actually owes me some money and that is our donation envelope. I bought three of these at the grocery store the other day for $10 a piece and I love that it is for my local community feeding families. So let's take $30 from here. 20 and 30. So we'll put the rest of this back. And I'm going to add it to the money that came back to me today. So my budget binder, we have not seen this in a while and it is because it was starting to become honestly kind of obsolete for me because as a lot of you do know, we are debt free now. So I didn't quite need some of the pages and my monthly trackers that I have back here, which is basically my budgeting section is going to be a lot different next year. So I'm going to be working on this this week and hopefully I will have it ready, a new one to show you guys next week. So stay tuned for that. I'll also be doing my envelope setup. I'm going to be having some new ones and I may take some away. I'm not hundred percent sure yet because the ones I have actually do work really well for me. So I'm going to kind of go over them and I'm going to go over my spending and see if I need some new envelopes. I do already know a few that I'm going to be adding for next year. So watch next week for that. And before we go, I decided a couple weeks ago to start doing a channel of the week on my cash stuffing videos. And last week I forgot to mention one. So this week I'm going to do two and I'm going to go with a channel that has been around for a while. And I'm going to go with a very new channel as well. Let's start with the new channel. Okay. So this one is paychecks and prayers. I actually don't know her first name. I kind of waited for her to say it, but she doesn't. I don't know if she does it on purpose, but I don't know her name. She does comment on our videos, so maybe she can comment in the videos and let me know what her first name is. But I recently started watching Paychecks and Prayers, and I really like her content. Her channel started in July of this year. She posts consistently and she does it all. The cash stuffing, the savings challenges, the unstuffings, the cash condensing, budgeting, everything is there. So if you're looking for a new channel to check out, Paychecks and Prayers is one that I would definitely recommend. Now my second channel that has been around for a while is, her name is Raquel, but please call her Ray of Ray's Budgets. I don't know if you guys know this, but she is the very first cash stuffing channel that I ever watched. And she is the reason that Two Sister Bees exists. She is also very organized and easy to understand. She gives a lot of advice and she changes her content quite a bit, which keeps it very interesting. She does a quote of the day at the very beginning of each video, which is very inspiring. I love those quotes, Ray, and she calls her supporters her family, which I love. She also does a save day Sunday every Sunday on YouTube. She never misses. And those videos are also a lot of fun to watch. So check those two out. We have paychecks and prayers and raise budgets. You guys will love both of those. And the last thing I want to tell you guys is if you are one of those people who is really thinking that your top goal for 2024 is to start chipping away at that debt once and for all, I do have a complete plan on how to do that. This is following Dave Ramsey's Baby Steps 1 and 2. These are on Etsy. I have the book available where this will be actually mailed to you and it has a lot of extra pages. You can also get it as a bundle with the calculator and the pen, but I also have this in a downloadable version. I do have a full video showing this 
and the packet linked here for you guys to check out if you haven't seen it yet. So keep watching Two Sister Bees.